Do you know what the most critical skill for survival in the wilderness is? It's not fire making or shelter building, though those are certainly important. The true key to survival is finding and purifying water. Without water, the human body can only survive for a few days. Venturing into the wilderness without a plan for water is a risk you don't want to take. Finding safe, drinkable water is often a challenge. Untreated water can carry harmful bacteria, parasites and viruses that can lead to severe illness or even death. I'm Young Rodney, survival guru and combat expert. So how can you locate water in the wilderness? One proven method is to follow animal tracks. Animals need water just like we do, and their trails often lead to reliable water sources. Birds, bees and mosquitoes also tend to gather near water, so keep an eye out for them. Another sign of water is vegetation. Lush green plants usually indicate a nearby water source. In arid areas, look for willows, cottonwoods or cattails, which are often found near water. Once you've found a water source, the next step is to make it safe to drink. There are several ways to do this. Boiling is the most effective method to kill bacteria and viruses. Filter the water first to remove any large particles, then bring it to a rolling boil for at least one minute. If boiling isn't an option, you can also use water purification tablets or a portable water filter. These methods aren't as foolproof as boiling, but they're better than drinking untreated water. To sum up, finding and purifying water is a critical survival skill. Remember to follow animal tracks and look for signs of vegetation to locate water sources. Then filter and boil the water, or use purification tablets or a portable filter to make it safe to drink. Hydration is essential for survival. Without water, even the most experienced survivalist can't last long in the wilderness. So before you venture into the wild, make sure you're prepared. Practice these skills in a safe environment first and when you're ready, take them into the wild. And don't forget to share your experiences in the comments. We're all here to learn from each other. Remember, survival isn't just about enduring, it's about thriving. Now that we have covered the basics of water survival, let's dive into a Q&A session to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. What are the most effective and efficient methods for locating water sources in a wilderness survival situation? Well, observing the behavior of animals and birds, looking for lush green vegetation, and following the natural contour of the land can often lead you to water. How can one differentiate between safe and unsafe water sources for drinking in a bushcraft setting? Clear flowing water is generally safer than stagnant water. But even clear water can contain harmful microorganisms. Always purify water before drinking it. What are the essential tools and equipment needed to collect, filter and purify water in the wild? A container for boiling, a water filter, purification tablets and a cloth for pre-filtering are all critical tools. How do different climates and environments impact the availability and purification of water in a bushcraft scenario? In hot, dry climates, water sources may be scarce, but you can collect dew or condensation. In cold environments, you can melt snow or ice. What are some advanced techniques for water purification that can be utilized in a long-term survival situation? Solar stills, transpiration bags, and making your own charcoal filter are advanced techniques that can be used in a pinch. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know, the better prepared you'll be for any survival situation. So keep learning, keep practicing, and keep exploring. I'm Young Rodney, survival guru and combat expert.